Hey, what is up guys? This is DJ Clan Smasher and I'm bringing you a brand new tourney bracket that we started here in New Mexico. So pretty much what happened was there wasn't too many people that wanted to go ahead and start this tournament because you know it does take time and it's very difficult to try to coordinate everything with everybody. So we went we went ahead and started this tournament last week. Um, there was about seven of us so it was not an even number so it was kind of difficult trying to figure out how we were gonna go about placing everybody and everything. So what we went, what we went ahead and did was um, one of the guys, his name's Nasty Block. He couldn't play on Saturday, which was gonna be the first matchup day. So what we ended up doing is we put him as the as the guy who was gonna go up against the first block of the winners. You guys will see what I mean later on when I show you guys the bracket. But pretty much um, the rules for this tournament, how we ended up going about it is. The first two out of three wins so you know um, it's pretty much gonna be three whole matches and then see who wins from there and then um, whoever gets two out of three wins will go on to the next so it's gonna be like an, el an elimination type of tournament so we went ahead and did that um, I was placed against Kevin for the first one what we ended up doing was um, we put like a random generator so we can figure out who's gonna go against two in the brackets so that it's fair uh -oh. So I went up against Kevin and Kevin pretty much trashed me real bad like he had this crazy deck that is very strong and I actually recommend you guys using it. Um, the reason why he got this deck was that he saw this one in um, one of the, what is it called, um, the tournaments and he saw that it was also in TV Royale, I believe that's where he saw this deck and he decided to use it. And sure enough like we did a few practice rounds and by the way he was playing with it, it's just so crazy you guys because um, it's pretty much a great control deck with the three musketeers in the back. You let them split and then after that you can decide where you're going to go, which lane you're going to go and you have a big old golem that's tanking for everything so it makes it a lot more difficult to even face this deck. Um, so here it is guys, I used a golem slash balloon deck. I had a fireball so that, that would help me with, uh, with the three musketeers because I knew he had three musketeers but the thing is he's got um the mean uh, the minions and then he's also got a bunch of random little things that kind of force you to use all your spells next thing you know he starts rushing you so it's a great way to read your opponent and then just pretty much go from there um but yeah i, I didn't know what to do or how to even approach this guy um he was able to defend everything that i was throwing at him <clears throat> i tried many different decks before we even got started and i thought this would be the one that would do the best but I couldn't do anything guys, um, uh, everything was it felt like it was impossible and I already knew that he was going to go far when it came to this tournament just by the way he was playing. Um, so yeah, he trashed me there first on that first battle and this one is a live battle that I showed you guys. Um, I, had, I was recording it live at the time so you guys can see it from my point of view but I couldn't even do anything. So this was the second round, we played again, I, ch I chose a different deck just to see if maybe you know that would help or even stand a chance against Kevin but it didn't feel like that was even an opportunity um, he was just too powerful so anyways I threw in the Night Witch I threw the Night Witch on the other side just to kind of get that going and once I saw the three Musketeers I didn't know what to do I just didn't know how to stop it what I should have done was bring a lightning spell just to kind of get rid of them from the start that way I won't have to deal with them anymore that would have probably been the best move but at the time I didn't know what to do and I, I didn't know um, how to approach it so I just went with the best decks that I currently had at the moment but none of them survived because uh, yeah this is the one that was working out so well for me especially when it came to pushing oh and I finally got a max hog guys so pretty excited about that and it's been helping me push I haven't been trying to push too much but I'll definitely start trying to push once the season's about to end just because I don't focus on that too much I just do the bare minimum and go from there and then after that, uh, once it's closer to the end of the season, that's when I actually do start pushing and this is one of the better decks to push with. I'll definitely have to start using the deck that Kevin used against me because, man, it's real, it's a real good control deck. So you're pretty much in control almost the whole game. Um, and yeah, he shows this in almost every single match. I'm going to show you some of the other matches, guys. Sadly, I couldn't get everyone's matches. Um, just because by the time I would get out of work or something, um, they had already finished their matches, so I, already, I just knew what the results were. 
for the most part, in almost every single uh, game, it was a 2 to 0. So whoever won pretty much won both games, and that was it. And then, um, oh, so when it came to the rules, was it was best 2 to 3, and you can also switch your deck, but you have to finish the rounds. Like, you can't wait a whole day to finish one of the rounds and stuff like that. So it's 2 out of 3, you choose one deck, the other person chooses another one. And then you go from there, you fight it out and see who wins. So anyways guys, those were the results from the first round. And then that moves you to the semi-finals where Naps the Block is at. And um, I didn't have some of their gameplay. But anyways, this is I Hate This Game versus Mike. They were both going for it. And they were just having a good duel. I didn't get a chance to, to see this one from the start. Just because once I hopped on, I realized that they were about to go at it. Um, so I just started recording this live. And it looks like Mike is using a minor control deck, and I hate this game is using a hog rider deck with with the executioner and the tornado just to kind of help with that. Let's see. But yeah, this one was, it was a pretty close game. Um, it was definitely a crazy tournament just because you never know who you're gonna get, um, and then you don't know what to use, especially. After that first match, because you can decide to switch, but then you don't know if your opponent's going to switch as well. So that kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to go about deciding what you should try, or if, you'd even, if you should even switch or not. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in joining, make sure to let us know. Um, comment below, and I'll see if I can try to get you into one of the clans. Um, we currently have three clans. The New Mexico, which is ma the main pushing clan. And then the 2.0, which is more of a chill clan. Um... And if you speak Spanish right there, that's like the main clan that speaks the most Spanish. And then the uh, 3.0 clan, um, that one's full. I haven't really been in that one too much, but we might consider um, expanding just because most of the clans are already full. But yeah, we're going to try to um, get this tournament going and we're going to try to make it grow a little bit more. Have more of, the, more of the players involved in it and try to make it expand. That way it's way more fun because we only had seven people. It, it was still interesting, guys, because... Um, just seeing some of the battles and seeing how they went about it and then trying to figure out who was going to go next. Just kind of trying to guess um, was pretty interesting. So hopefully we can go ahead and get that going for the next one. Um, we'll try to do that at least once a month just to keep it, keep things fresh and, you know, not have everybody uh, stressed out about it and stuff because um, everybody is busy. So we want to make sure that um, everyone has time to plan things out and, and be able to play against everybody. And one of the apps that we currently use, guys, is called Discord. I highly recommend downloading that app, especially if you want to communicate with your teammates. It makes it way easier because if you get that app, you set up a channel, everybody can talk to each other, and that's how we were able to set up certain things. So I pretty much said, hey, guys, so from 6 to 8, you know, let's try to get those games going. That way we know what the, what the results are. And then the next day, we'll, we'll go on to the next round and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, of course, there's always... Certain things that happen or you can't always make it at a certain time. So that's one of the better um, ways to communicate with each other through the Discord app. Which as you can see right there, somebody, Michael, had posted the results of the tournament. Because I was asking um, who had won and stuff or how many rounds were left. But he already posted that he pretty much won that one. So he was able to move on to the next one. And then Stopka and Mike went about it and Stopka beat him by 2-0. to zero. Stopka is more of an air person. This is the the uh, attack that he was using. Um, but you're going to see how Kevin goes about it. And this is one of those interesting matches, but then it gets overpowered. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a little while. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, what I was saying was the Discord app is pretty cool. Um, I know that a lot of the Clash of Clans people use that app in order to call their... Because uh, if you set up something called WM bot. It pretty much makes it to where you can call bases and everything. And then once you call the base, it saves it for about two hours, depending on what settings you use. And then um, once you call the base, it saves it for you for two hours, and then people can see who's called what. Um, that way, you know, you can coordinate things a little bit better, and not everybody's waiting for everyone. Because, you know, there's some people that say, oh, wait, save that one for me, but then they end up not attacking until the next day. You know what I mean? So anyways, guys, hopefully this helps. And the winner for this tournament was Kevin Blackwell. Great job. He did a great job on that one. Hopefully we'll have some more of these and I'll be able to um, bring you guys some more of that stuff. It was a very interesting and fun game. Um, I didn't make it as far as I wanted it to, but, you know, maybe next time, guys. 
So please, you know, continue checking out the videos. And if and like I said, if you want to be in one of these, um, let me know. Comment below. Um, or if you have some cool footage, go ahead and add me on Twitter or Instagram and send me that stuff. And and if um and I might be able to go ahead and put that up. So let me know. All right. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.